welcome to a moment with Rukwaru. I am Mutea Rukwaru, your popular family therapist and a relationship coach. Uh, for my viewers and my fans, I'm taking a break, but now I'm back. And this session will be very, very exciting. So today, I'm going to serialize a book called Strong in the Storm by Mutea Rukwaru. The book is an outcome of a number of sessions, counseling sessions, which the presenter earned for a number of years. And the book, Strong in the Storm, delves into the intricate phenomena of extramarital affairs popularly known as Mpambu Wakandu in Kenyan society. So, in this video, I would like to us to discuss, I would like to discuss with you about why infidelity is on the increase or there is an absence of infidelity in Kenyan society. Infidelity is someone having an affair with somebody who is not his wife or his husband or rather the spouse. So it's very important to really ask ourselves this afternoon, why is this phenomena, why is it this phenomena in increase in our society even within the field of religion? I would actually like to say within the Kenyan society and even the world at large, there is a lot of usage of euphemisms to mask these extramarital affairs. To some, they will say, call it sleeping around. Others will say they are fooling around. Others will call it alliances. Others will call it flings. Others will call it cheating. But whatever the case, it is unfaithfulness, and betrayal of trust, and betrayal of the contract between spouses. And now, one of the reasons why we have absence of infidelity in our Kenyan society is the aspect of permissive sexual values. If you look at our society, it has undergone a lot of changes because we are, we are a global society. We interact with other global communities and that one affects our traditional society. So our norms, values and mores are affected. And so the closeness, the close bonds between family members and even extended family members is broken because of this social change. The rural urban migration is a point in focus that when you go, when you migrate from your rural area and you go to urban areas, you are going to interact with the different communities and your values are bound to change. So now, because of this permissive sexual values in our society, due to social change, it made people now feel they are no longer bound by the traditional kinship and so they are free to do whatever they want. And this is a factor now which contribute to extramarital affairs because you know you don't have social checks which used to be very common in the traditional society. The second point is the aspect of contraceptives, the pills and other methods of family planning has also meant extramarital affairs to be on the rise. The issue of vasectomy, the issue of tubal ligation, it makes the spouses feel comfortable that it will be hard. After all, even if you get involved, you are not going to get pregnant or impregnate anyone. You are going to have fun and so you are safe with the contraceptives. The other point is the issue of traveling. A lot of traveling can be very tempting. You go to attend conferences, 
you can go to attend workshops outside your area of operation and during that moment where you are where you are free where many people don't know you you end up now getting engaged in moments of passions because you are sure your partner will not catch you the other point is the issue of women empowerment unlike the traditional society where women were housekeepers they were taking care of the children and the homestead life now has changed this took a great turn from 1975 when we had the first World Women Conference in Mexico and then it was followed in 1980 it was followed in 1980 by another World Women Conference in Copenhagen and then there was the Nairobi Conference in 1985 which came up with Nairobi Forward Looking Strategies which was very very critical in the empowerment of women and then in 1985 when the popular Beijing conference, which had a great landmark in the history of, of empowerment of women by coming up with Beijing platform of action, which covered a number of thematic areas to strengthen women in the society, especially in their contribution. In Kenyan society, in 2010, the 2010 constitution and a great impact with the affirmative action. Affirmative action is a deliberate effort to correct an error which might have been occasioned in the society either through constitution, through culture, through geography, or through certain registration or otherwise. So this affirmative action, it was deliberate to make sure that the women who historically were neglected they and are part to play and so that so it came up with the issue of one that gender rule and of course it's also important to note with the affirmative action it is has got some time when the target is met then they revert and remove it and so then there is the aspect now of the emotional networks of friendships. Many have got friendships which are very, very close, very neat relationship between spouses and their other friends. And so now when it comes now to, the, to this network, it can be translated now to the physical affair when it just starts as an emotion as an emotional relationship. Now there is also the aspect of technology, the issue of mobile phones, the issue of Facebook, Instagrams, and other social network platforms have encouraged this, uh, this absence of infidelity in our Kenyan society. There is the issue of texting, there is also the issue people can be able to share with a number of friends in globally, it doesn't matter which part of the world, if you have created a friendship, you end up now doing sexting, sharing sexual messages, and to a certain level, it can even be translated where people can even go to visit one another, of course, many times with the serious repercussions. And then there is also the aspect of expecting too much from marriage people get into marriage relationship having thought that you have already got prince charming or a cinderella but then when you get into the marriage life the reality is very different because when you got married you are marrying an ideal person but when the reality comes you feel as if you committed a blunder and so you are going to be in search to go in search of an ideal person because you feel you are very dissatisfied with the marriage life. The aspect of pornography through videos, through YouTubes and other platforms has contributed greatly where people are exposed to different sexual styles and so couples they move out of our way in search 
of sexual adventure and that one become a motivation factor in engaging in extramarital affairs. The aspect also of new drugs and new treatment, the aspect of Viagra on blue pills is very, very common. And this one actually give men a lot of libido, high rise in libido, and so sometimes their friends, their spouses may not be able to bear and so they will go out to, to move out with women who can be able to tolerate the high level of libido. The aspect also of, of, uh, of the change of the body physiology, the body enhancement, whereby you can change your physique, you can change your body size, and of course that one become very, very attractive, and the people move out because they feel probably their spouses have got a body shape which is not attractive to them. And so they go in search of a body size, a body size which is attractive to their eyes. And this has been due to the science, to the science, the, the science which can be able to make women change their body structure. The aspect of hormones with women, sometimes women, the aspect of hormones can play, can play, can play a very great fact so that at a certain point the hormones can make women feel that they need sex more than at any other time and probably their husbands may not be able to meet that desire and so they end up going out. Then there is also the aspect of the age. In the 30s and the 40s, the women's sexual libido it goes up. While in many cases, the men in the 30s and 40s, the sexual libido goes down. So the men in the 30s and 40s will go looking for girls who are less than 30 who don't have serious sexual urge or the libido is low. And then the women who are in the 30s and 40s will go looking for young boys who are less than 30 whose libido is very high. And then finally, there is the high-powered jobs. People who are well placed in the society, the elites, the politicians, and business people who have got money, they are able to buy sex, they are able to attract women who really need money. And so, the high-powered jobs, both for men and women, can be a very great motivation factor to which can contribute to the absence or to high rise in extra marital affairs in our Kenyan society. And so I hope you have enjoyed this presentation and since this is a series we are going to continue we look uh, we are going to continue and I would actually request you to subscribe by hitting the notification button give it also a thumb up so that the youtube can also share with other people and even you you can also share this this video with your friends otherwise thank you very much for listening to me and i'm hoping this one will give you a milestone in your analysis of the anatomy of extramarital affairs Otherwise, I would welcome you. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe because this the book on Strong in the Storm has got a lot of knowledge which will have a great impact in your lives and in the lives of others. Thank you.